السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. What's going on, Habibi? I'm Siraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the Habibi Bros. Welcome to another episode of the Habibi Power Hour. Um, sorry for for my tardiness. It's okay. It's all right. But I gotta go take shit now. Okay, fine. I'll do the show by myself. You know, he takes like 30 minute shits. So we'll just wait for him to come back. Uh, Habibis, I am Suraj Hashmi. As I said before, go hit that like and subscribe button as well. Damn it. It's fuck. It. It's it's not like and subscribe. It's like, I know. Uh, it's been a day, Jay. It's okay. Wait. Welcome, Habibis. I'm Jack Kobe. Make sure to hit that like and follow button. And join our locals for five dollars a month. You can join our um, our very special Discord server, where we're actually going to be get ready for our uh, fantasy football league. And you can submit your list nominations as well. So go ahead and, and check that out. And you have a direct impact on Habibi Power Hour by supporting us. You also get to steer the direction of the show, kind of like tonight where the Habibis have sent in their favorite videos and well, we'll see how, how bad it really gets. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and let the videos decide how this discussion goes. And it's going to be stories from the scene around the internet and basic news stories that you've seen probably on cable news or rumble here itself, which is where we're streaming. So Habibis, make sure you go and hit that like follow and join buttons uh and, and now of course of steering maybe they could actually steer into the third building i believe that was supposed to be either the capital or the white house oh no pentagon wasn't the oh no it did go into the pentagon right they steered that missile yeah, right into it there are three there was supposed jay it was three out of four how do you completely forget it it was two towers uh a uh diet was a heck not a hexagon Hexagon, hexagon yes. right? Hexagon. Yeah. Um hexagon nonagon. Right? Yeah, I think I think they made it Hex that is way. Six, to, non to is that. nonagon is nine, right? But but didn't they make it a hexagon for the cabal? You know the 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 tree of life. Okay. Are you talking about the star of David? Yes. Imagine if it was the star <laughs> <laughs> just went out and said it i was like trying to steer it all right around and be like the mystical cabal and like you know the tree of life and <laughs> juice yeah no um <laughs> let's we we gave we're giving our producer spencer sort of uh a bit of free reign to steer the first topic because he went ahead and fished with his family thinking that he was somehow like doing something valuable with his time. All he did was have sex with fish and those big mouth bass. Spend time with family. Family, I barely know her. Also, uh, I always very, say this. I always say this, Jay. Hello. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say this. Nothing gayer than family. Uh, that's true. That's true. Which is why Habibis. If you become a Habibi today, you join. Our family. family. <laughs> and speaking of family and, and gayness, a very special happy birthday to my mother who's watching tonight. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, Mary. Oh, yes. that's wonderful news. Uh -huh. It's seven really her birthday years. today. It is. Seven more years and then she's going to be senile. There's, there's a high chance that she's going to go through dementia. I mean, she's, uh -huh. already, she, she's already showing signs now, of course. Uh, in what way? In in a way that she doesn't announce that I'm her favorite son. That way. Oh, that that makes that makes total and complete sense. That way in the Yahweh. Yahweh. 
Habibis. All right, so let's get right into it because um, I got to be real. Um, I have not seen anything relating to this new Disney film, Snow White. So we are watching this from scratch. Well, I am really. So let's just let's just go ahead and hit it. The original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. Cast a guy in the movie. Right. Andrew Burnap. Great dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. If I'm going to stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess, I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years when I was doing this film. It's no longer 1937. And we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is- not gonna be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. <laughs> she's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. The reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago. It's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power and what a woman is fit for in the world. And so when we came to reimagining the actual role, no one has to learn a lot of lessons about coming into her own power before she the can PR, come into power the P, over The PR department gonna... has to be on Hold fire on. right now. Like on well, fire. Well, how is it How is it possible? What's the timestamp on that? Was Can you read that okay? Can you read, what's it? It's taken a minute and 34 seconds to even get to Gal Gadot. Right. Well... <laughs> I think it's mainly showing like uh, just clips of how insane no, I know Rachel that. is. But that's the hook right there. Right? I think you so. Get well, I think the bigger. Just start off with a, just the first image of Gal Gadot and then go immediately to Rachel Ziegler. <laughs> the the funniest to thing watch. too is that Gal Gadot is supposed to be, we're supposed to, we're supposed to buy into the fact that somebody like Gal Gadot is going to be um jealous of the way somebody like rachel looks yeah let's let's rewind it just a hair no no go back to the other one spencer worst producer in the world just go back like a, a couple frames because i want to i want you i want everyone to see the side by side of two of the two of them keep going back keep going back keep rewinding there's a there, there you go there's the shot of the two of them so you're gonna tell I me that the woman you're going to tell me that the woman on the right is going to be jealous of the woman on the left for her looks. That is some deep insecurity. Uh, I got to tell you, Jay, we should probably expound upon that in its own Disney series about how right. women view. Uh, how about how women view each other? I think this says more about society today than it says anything about society um, in 1937. Oh, for sure. And, and the funniest, the, the other funny part of it is that you're whiter than the actress that they picked to, to play Snow White. They named her Snow White because of her fair white skin. Jay, that's Not racist. The, you can't didn't... say that. Jay, that is the most racist shit you could ever say. Look, they didn't name her Maria Estevez. They named her Snow White. Maria Estevez. Who is that? Like uh, Emilio <laughs> Estevez's sister? Did you just throw this? out a random name and then follow it up with Estevez? <laughs> Maria is such a huge uh, uh, girl uh, Hispanic name. It's also That's why Italian I said Maria. Jack. Double Maria? racist. Well, yeah. Double racist. It's double. It doubled. I doubled. The well, uh, Rory Metzger on the local chat. This is the beauty of also being a local supporter. Is you get to join the locals premium chat, which we uh, we check first before everything else. Uh, Rory Metzger on locals says, "Did we watch the same movie? And why don't they make the movie they're talking about and call it something other than Snow White?" Exactly. 
Martin Sheen's long lost daughter, Maria Estevez. <laughs> exactly right. But it's true. I mean, it's so insane that time and time again, we were, we were watching uh, publications over and over again where you have producers who hate the story, you have writers who hate the scripts, and you hate actors who hate the characters, and then they shit on the fans of the original for not saying that this is this is not a remake. This, you're making you're shitting on the whole fucking story that we liked in the first place and making something completely different. Yeah, I, I just they love it. Didn't they have a, a another sort of fantasy type story? I don't know if it was Disney or Lay. It was called, I think, Into the Woods. It was, the, there was a it, Broadway play, and then I think there was a film, or it was it one way or the other? No, you're right. And it one was Mirror Mirror, and the other one was The Hunter. Yeah. So and then, oh, then they have Maleficent, right? No, Maleficent is is a different Disney character. It's about Sleeping Beauty, but it's in the eyes of the uh, of oh, the, that's right. the witch. Right. Right. Who's, isn't she portrayed by Angelina Jolie? She is. I mean, like that's also a good way to do a movie like this too. Is like do it in the in the perspective was, of the of the queen of the, of the yeah. Evil, that actually, the evil that is something people would watch. I mean, didn't they made three movies from that, right? Maleficent, yeah, and it was a huge success too. Maleficent was like one of the one of the the biggest, somewhat original. Uh, that is original, original too, because they don't expound <laughs> upon any of those other characters. User one one two one on Rumble. It's like it was Rapunzel. Uh, let drown your let down your corn rolls. <laughs> In this case, it would be. <laughs> wait, that doesn't even make, make any sense. No, Rapunzel is is saying that it's. <laughs> no, no. Fun In of this a, case, new... I am surprised he went with "Let Down Your Corn Rolls" instead of "Dreadlocks." Oh yeah. Forty foot dreads. He he followed up in the next comment, or she did. <laughs> Either way, sorry if I misgendered you. Please don't cancel me. Anyways, the, yeah, the deer hunter was a side story of the hunter. Oh, Snow White. That's right. Thank you, Afghan. Afghan stolen a stand, and she keeps on and she keeps on going. I mean, it's here. Went from the beginning, and let's watch it and turn it up. Uh, I Spencer. get stopped for photos every time I'm online for the Snow White ride, and it is the I have to pretend like oh god. <laughs> Well, crazy that we're in front of this. Wait, how long? It's like I'm standing there waiting for the photo op, being like. Well, you kind of are, you know. No, I guess. Like so. a Harrison Ford. Hey, Snow White! <laughs> uh, Is that your favorite ride? I mean, that's a weird thing that you is. are Snow White now. I mean, wow. it's one of the original. I'm a really big Disney fan. I grew up at the Disney parks. My parents took me every summer. Oh, you did. Yeah, okay. so it, it's like it is. It's part of my upbringing. It's my favorite thing. So. It is just one of those things yeah, that comes with the territory. Well, then if you love it, don't let them scare you. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being <laughs> so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years. When I was doing this film, I'm a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> like holy oh, shit! Like... It's it's insane. I mean, Disney's already going through so much fucking trouble. Uh, the the last hit that they had was probably Guardians of the Galaxy three, which was actually a pretty good one, even for Marvel. I haven't seen it yet. It wasn't wasn't too bad. But every remake they have done has been absolutely like I'm, disastrous i mean i, I can't I'm remember marveled out. i'm marveled out yeah everyone's marveled out it's all cgr garbage now i like yeah it was cool up until end game and then everyone was like hey let's just keep this thing going let's keep this gravy train going and then when you don't have another like purpose you have to like set up something that's not nearly as like you know climatic it's 
the story suffers and they're trying to like build up i think kang in this through you know the ant-man quantumania which by the way i have not seen still and i'm perfectly it's okay with garbage. that yeah you don't they're even have trying to. to build kang up into being the next Th thanos is it thanos right thanos no it's thanos and then thanos. kang will be thanos 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 kang thanos Than Thane, 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 thank you. Thane, you're Thane. welcome. And and you're right. I mean, they they stretched it out a lot. There were a couple of things that were really cool. You know, uh, I did like the the show with the uh, uh, what's her name, uh, the Scarlet Witch and stuff. And then they jumped into Doctor Strange two, and they made it all about a a Hispanic girl that hops through borders. Wait, because what? She could hop through dimensions, so she breaks the dimension walls, so she hops through walls, basically being an illegal alien in every dimension she goes to. That's that's basically the... That's how... That's the story, the plot line of... That's of, of Doctor Ant Strange 2. No, oh, no, Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange 2. 2. That was the, the, the next one, and, and it was such... And it was so uh, insulting to the character of Doctor Strange... And also, even even Cupper Badge, it was like, you know, I feel like I am a side character in this movie uh, that is about this this Mexican woman <laughs> who hops through walls and, and <laughs> Scarlet Witch. Like, it was absolutely fucking, uh, it was a garbage movie, too. It was really, really uh, horrible to watch. Uh, and, and I think after I watched that, I was like, I'm never going to go to the movie theaters ever again to watch these movies either i'm going to watch them for free or part of disney plus because i have the bundle he didn't oh, really mean that to the feds watching that he didn't really mean that please jay we have enough problems already <laughs> are we not on enough watch lists we are we're on a lot we're gonna get we're getting the fbi is gonna come after us they're gonna <laughs> get us on piracy no i was about to say stream it on disney plus <laughs> <laughs> Let me continue. I, the only reason why I still have Disney Plus is because I have ESPN Plus and Hulu, like that cheap bundle thing that they do all together. Right, those three. Jay. So that's right. the only reason why I have those. Right. And then to watch sure Mulan just for the uh, Make a Man Out of You, because that is by far, that's that's that has to be in your top five of best soundtracks for uh, Mulan. Disney. Mulan, I ma Make a Man Out of You. You don't know that song? Well, Eddie Murphy is in that in that film. He voice acts, and he's uh, a he's actually a good singer. But he doesn't sing it. Have you never watched Mulan? God, it's been Habibi. If they cast me to be Mulan, I'd be like Rachel Ziegler. <laughs> I hadn't. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it since. Like, so you really don't. You wouldn't have out. a power. A it, power. Have it, have it, have, I have not seen it since. I have I have not seen it since it came out, and I don't know if that was like I can't like tell you if that was before. I can't tell you if that was before or after nine eleven. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> oh, dude, that's basically yeah, Jay. No, I'm, that's I'm how gonna, I, I'm not going to say that's how I tell. Do you know this theory? All right, I've been having I've been talking to some of my colleagues, and we had a discussion today about about 9-11 and uh, how fucking awesome it was i mean <laughs> obviously of course yeah thank you media matters is gonna clip that shit <laughs> no obviously we're, <laughs> we're telling our uh 9-11 stories and like just how fucking serious it was and then i asked my colleague i was like and he's he's a young guy uh, he's gonna love them to talk i'm talking about him he has like he's like the nicest kid will never curse in his life you met him isaac yeah. yeah yeah he's like yeah he's yeah isaac, <laughs> he, isaac. He reminds me of like ben for instance like that oh yeah, yeah i can see that i can see that um and innocent and i i asked isaac i was like how old were you when 9 11 happened i was like do you remember anything he's like i was one i was like see this is what i'm talking about you cannot trust people who don't remember 9 11. Right, and they have no right to make jo jokes about it either. Like we have to get this straight too. If you were not right. in like the third grade in history class, 
when she brought in the the TV, thinking you were going to watch a movie, and instead traumatized your life <laughs> by showing the second plane hit live. <laughs> you can't make jokes about it. You can't make jokes about it. You just can't. Nope. Spencer on here uh, in the private chat saying, "I was born after 9-11. Well, Spencer, you're fucking fired. Exactly. We can't have this shit. Can't have this shit. Nope. You don't understand nope. the emotional pack, turmoil pack about about it. Hack your shit and go. Imagine if I was serious about that. By the way, <laughs> and then we we put nope. like <laughs> we put it on Indeed. Must must have been born. <laughs> must have been <laughs> at least eight years old when at 9/11 least happened. Must have a, a cognitive ability uh, complex enough to fully understand the events that took place on September 11, two thousand one. <laughs> or, or we do like a stupid question what is the what is the huge news story you remember as a kid <laughs> if it's not 9 11 <laughs> boom they're out, boom, you're out. <laughs> imagine being born like like right after like born at a time and then uh you miss 9 11 by like a couple months like the first uh like core memory is not 9 11 but the invasion of afghanistan <laughs> yeah or, or like Iraq two weeks later yeah. oh my god oh, millennial god. screening yes absolutely we're ages in this motherfucker yeah um man <laughs> must <laughs> fred x on on rumble must be this tall to ride the 9-11 ride. <laughs> <laughs> when you were here in Florida a week or two back, you and I, I saw it. Now I can't I can't not think about it because everybody knows about 11-11 Make-A-Wish, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you came in one time and you looked at the clock. It said 9-11. You're like 9-11 Make-A-Wish. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's too good. Too good. All right. Um man, I'm feeling a little video? bloated. I'm, Jan, I'm feeling a little bloated right now. This the seven up cherry is really you know filling me up. I feel almost inflated. Do we have is there an act or something of that sort that can reduce this inflation? <laughs> it's <laughs> Play the clip. We have more to do, but inflation is now the lowest point it's been in two years. <laughs> when the Inflation Reduction Act was passed a year ago today, inflation was, as it pointed out by Chuck or Nancy, I can't remember which one, 8.3%. It's now down to 3.2%. The lowest among... <laughs> and it's going to go lower. But here's the point. It's lowest among the world's leading economies. Take every major economy in the world. We have the lowest on infl inflation rate. At the same time, wages are growing faster than inflation. This matters. We have more to do, but inflation is now the lowest point it's been. Okay. Is that the only video? We have some we have some like defenders of uh, the Inflation Reduction Act. But Jay, maybe you can expound. I've been saying expound a lot. I feel like that should be the drink word tonight. Expound. Right. Uh, it, I'll take a drink. I guess I'll take a drink too. No, uh, what's really funny about this is that the Inflation Act literally has zero to do with causing inflation to go down. If anything, it is one of the major reasons why inflation hasn't gone down quicker because of all of the money it's funneling into uh, different kinds of uh, like uh, climate uh, reduction um policies and and trying to to go into r&d to make these fucking uh vacuums that will vacuum C co2 and all that kind of stuff the reason why the inflation has come down as much as it, it's it it has is because the economy is going to a standstill mainly because the feds keep on raising uh, interest rates right and with the interest rates rising people do not have an uh are not able to um uh, like uh, take out loans like they they used to be able to get uh, new new uh, uh, items like cars or ha or homes at affordable rates. Uh, right. And uh, this is what is causing really what is causing inflation to go down. It has absolutely nothing to do with the Inflation 
Reduction Act. And every fucking media personality like Chris Hayes is a propaganda piece of fucking garbage for pushing <laughs> these talking points as if this is what is happening. Not the fact that we raise interest rates from fucking like three, three points or two point something percent all the way up to 8% in the span of a year and a half that they, they pretend like that has nothing They're They're not even uh, explaining that that is one of the major causes for inflation to go down. They want to pretend that this administration by funneling more money into the climate scam is causing inflation to go down. Yeah, I saw something maybe within the last day about the about Vox. Did you see Vox published an article and there was a tweet about it? How maybe I'll just go find it. Well, in the meantime, you go ahead and play that next uh, clip. Oh, it seems like Spencer got bounced. Spencer? No, I think he got back on. He was bounced he and he did. came back. Okay. Um, but there's let's let's watch near ten and while I'll find this next thing up to defend the law. So we in that um these Man, Spencer, that internet you got. Wow, Spencer, that fantastic. I, I love it. Absolutely amazing. Shit. Let me well, go ahead and share. It reminds me of, of when it was uh, like right after 9-11 and I, and I found porn and AOL came out. Like, you know, when, when you're watching porn, you get half the tit come into screen and you're like, <laughs> oh, yes. Nira Tannen, who I'll tell you a story about in just a moment. Uh, rose up to defend the law. So... Uh, we expect, uh, my expectation is that as we implement um, these provisions, as people see in their pocketbooks that they are paying less for prescription drugs for the first time because of the Inflation Reduction Act, they'll make the connection. But we should be really clear that the, the provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act are incredibly popular. I mean, 80% uh, of the American, the American people, people, 75% of the American people, people Democrats, 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 Independents, and, and Republicans support lowering health care costs, uh, support, support ensuring Medicare, Medicare can negotiate, can negotiate drug, prices drug prices and other provisions as well. As well. Um, uh, uh, what? I, I was going to say, like, nobody is seeing seeing these cost reductions whatsoever. And people are still paying three times as much for their groceries as they did just two years ago. Um, wow, Daniel Foreman, thank you for the Rumble Rant at 50 bucks. That's that's very generous. Thank you. <laughs> for, the or the internet, <laughs> for the internet fund. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Now, now Spencer can pay for one month of, of 500 over 500. Yeah. Thanks to Biden's since thanks to Biden inflation, uh, that fifty dollars is actually ten dollars prior to him entering office. Right. I don't. I'm sorry, bro. No, it's crazy how much inflation has went because because he was talking about how they were sending seven hundred dollars to uh, to Maui uh, residents, and I did a quick search and Bush sent a thousand dollars to everyone affected by Katrina and in today's right. money that would be fifteen hundred fifty six dollars oh, compared shit. to just the seven hundred dollars that they were they were pushing and there was uh, I wish I had the tweet but there was there was a an analysis that were saying that <laughs> people on average today are paying seven hundred and nine dollars more on groceries than they were before so that's seven hundred dollars there's still a net net net, net like a net nine dollars <laughs> on what they would be spending before biden like... became president okay look i admit i'm not that good on economics um it's just something i can like i can do like organic chemistry and all like all that shit but business and econ i don't know why jay i'm just terrible with that shit so i understand it I never took it in school, so therefore I feel like I don't have like a firm education of it. So I just like gave up. I shouldn't. Follow. I should probably. 
I should probably Baba like is, take like a little crash course in it. Anyways, Baba is watching this then, right now, and he's like, oh, "Biochem? Why the fuck aren't you a doctor then?" <laughs> so good at biochem. Oh, you you want me to bring the report card? <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, Habibi, and by Habibi, I mean me, um, <laughs> I was just a really bad standardized test taker. Oh, yeah. The, 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 and you're, cat. you're one of those guys who had test anxiety. No, I just, Jay, do you know how bad my ADHD is? You've seen me. Oh, <laughs> fuck, I've seen it. <laughs> You now understand why I'm not good at taking standardized tests. Uh huh. I totally, I totally get it. I can't, I can't focus for shit. I'm even surprised I can like put two two words together in a sentence. It would be like two plus. What is two plus two? You'd be like, oh, I need to go get water. I try oh, to shit. get up and go get some water. No, I thought that would be like Jay. You know the stereotypes they make about people with ADHD, like oh, squirrel, like that shit is real. It, it is real. And all I'm saying is, that, you know, stereotypes are real time saver. <laughs> Anyways, Vox.com. You're trying to hire people. <laughs> uh, and we're canceled. Anyways, Vox.com <laughs> tweets out the average American probably doesn't know about all the free <laughs> inflation, uh, all the free money in the Inflation Reduction Act. Jay, um, what the fuck am I? What, what am I reading? What what free money? Because it's the Biden's historic climate law has a problem. At what didn't like just earlier this week or a week ago? Biden was set at a fundraiser that he regretted calling it the Inflation Reduction Act simply because uh, he, he thought it really didn't have much to do with reducing inflation. It was more a climate bill, right? Right, not just him, a lot of other people who are talking about it as well. And and Pado and Podosta. Podosta? Podosta. Podesta? Podesta? He's the, he, John the climate, Podesta? he's the climate czar for the administration, and he was talking about how this was all to do with climate reduction. Okay, let's watch it. We have to cut the carbon pollution that's driving the climate crisis. And that's what the Inflation Reduction Act is all about. We oh, so he said the, the, the quiet part out loud. And the funny thing what, is, this is not a know. this is not a like a, a well-kept secret. Everyone knows this. And, you know, the the media was so quick to call uh, the, the Florida bill. Don't say gay and push the the lie from from democrats that it's a don't get like don't say gay bill but here they're that they're here telling you to your face that it had nothing to do with reducing inflation and you have people like chris hayes saying like oh look at what inflation was then and then when we passed the inflation reduction act because he's a fucking retard who is a complete propagandist if you listen to chris hayes you're a fucking moron do you do you want to like show us some stuff, uh, Jay? While you you search for it, whatever like Chris Hayes has said about this, because I want I want people to have some context, just because it's important for I think the 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 audience for the Habibis who are currently watching the show uh, that Chris Hayes does in fact say these uh, really retarded things. Um, and that this uh, rant in which you're waging jihad on him is justified in the eyes of Allah. So I'll let you go ahead and find that simply because what? here we go. You know, today, the Inflation Reduction Act, the most significant piece of climate legislation in U.S. history, was signed into law. And there's a case to be made. It's one of the most significant Hold on, pause it. pieces of legislation. So he just let off with it too. No, he did. And then listen to what he says. It never passed. I mean, just look at the name and then look at what it did. In August of last year, when the Inflation Reduction Act was signed to law, inflation was 8.3%. One year later, inflation is about 3.2%. He said, look at what it did. And then he goes on 
you'll, you'll just see, he'll go on to not even talk about what in the legislation caused this to go down because there's nothing in the legislation that caused it. Inflation was reduced. Promises made, promises kept. Now, I can hear all of you macroeconomics buffs out there yelling at your TVs. The IRA was a clean energy infrastructure bill with some uh, drug prescription pricing, too. Dropping inflation had more to do with the easing of the supply chain issues from COVID and the decline in oil prices as markets came back after the invasion of Ukraine and the rate hikes from the Fed. Yes, that's all true. The way politics works is the president gets all the blame when the economy is bad, so they get to take the credit when the economy is improving. But he did not... You are saying he did nothing. Like he is there saying it did nothing, but we're going to give him all the credit for things he didn't even fucking do. He didn't ease any of the 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 uh supply chain. He's not the one who was controlling the raising of the uh the interest rates that made people have higher credit card bills, that have made people get priced out of buying new homes, that have made people slow down their buying power. These are the things that cause inflation to go down, to cause prices of, of goods to go down for people to be able to actually afford them on their credit card bills and, and be able to take out loans to be able to buy houses. Nothing in this bill has done it. And he wants to pretend that we have to give credit to this guy for it. He's even saying he did nothing, but we have to give him credit. Like you have to be a fucking retard to watch MSNBC. So the Democrats had this kind of stroke of genius last summer when they were loggerheads with West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, the deciding vote, who was wavering on voting for the act because he was concerned about additional spending and what it would mean for inflation. So they renamed their spending bill the Inflation Reduction Act. At the time, that was seen as a kind of cheeky dig at Republicans, but it worked. That decision has borne both substantive and political dividends. I mean, think about it this way. If it were a Republican president who signed a bill called the Inflation Reduction Act, and then inflation dropped by five points in one year, it would be all they ever talked about. So President Biden, any other Democrat in politics, some free advice. I understand you're kind of reluctant to bring up inflation when it's still a little higher than everyone would like it to be, but 3.2% is a lot less than 8.3%, and everyone knows that. Go out and tell everyone. We passed the Inflation Reduction Act, and over the next year, inflation plummeted. Think about it this way. If you'd passed the Inflation Reduction Act and inflation had gone up five points, your goose would be cooked. All he's doing is being a talk person for the DNC. That's it. That is it, what he's well, doing. And people are no, still no. paying three times as much for groceries as they were before. So people still can't afford rent as they were, be, were able before. There's nothing um, in the economy that is good for them to talk about. All right. No, I think I think I understand what you're saying. So J I might not be a smart man, but I know what a retard sounds like. Let's keep it going. Oh god. Oh no, sorry. that was it. That was it. Oh, I forgot to share the tab. That's all. Sorry. Boomer moment here. We have more to do, but inflation is now the lowest point it's been in two years. When the Inflation Reduction Act was passed a year ago today, inflation was, as it pointed out by Chuck or Nancy, I can't remember which one, 8.3%. It's now down to 3.2%. The lowest among... And it's going to go lower. But here's the point. It's lowest among the world's leading economies. Take every major economy in the world. We have the lowest on infl inflation rate. At the same time, wages are growing faster than inflation. This matters. So, Fry Piper on Rumble, by the way, is a mod. And if you're interested in being a mod on the Habibi Rose channel, just, uh, well, I don't know. Join our Discord. Join the, join the, join this, yeah, join the Habibi Bros locals and you too can become a mod. Anyways, Fry Piper says inflation deflated because people are cutting massive amount of spending. Greedflation is crashing, which was massive corporate profit taking. Now, a lot of companies are reporting that their earnings are up, but that's not how investors are still not. Uh, the, the stock market hasn't really reflected uh, 
the positive earnings reports that a lot of these corporations, these publicly traded companies have been reporting. So what does that tell you, Jay? Jay? No, I'm, I'm that... hearing you. It, 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 oh. Well, Oh, I, I was I was hoping you would answer me. I I mean I'm, I know the answer. I, I know the answer, but I I'm hoping you know the answer too. <laughs> What's your answer? <laughs> because the uh, the economy is still shit, Jay. Yeah, there's still a lot of unknowns that are happening out there, and especially right now where where the Fed is still talking about raising rates. Uh, and I mean, we saw what that happened. What what that that did to banks. We saw what that did to people being able to, to buy houses. I mean, right now uh, the, the home market is in this really weird uh, limbo where you have, I think somewhere around like 45% of all home buyers bought their homes at uh, lower than 4%. So those guys are not going anywhere. They're not going to sell their homes. Those homes are not going to go back on the market. Like nobody in their right mind is going to sell their home that they got at a lower than 4% interest rate to go and get it at an 8% interest rate. So that that supply is going to stay there. That's why you don't see a lot of houses. The prices of houses haven't really gone down so much in a lot of a lot of these places because there's not a really big supply of them out there yet. A lot of people either keep them and just rent them out or they keep them and stay in them because they're not going to move. And, and risk having to pay an 8% interest rate on another home it's... because they're going to buy it at the same rate. Like if you bought a $420,000 home in uh, 2021, for instance, and you got it at a four, at a 3.2% interest rate, you're paying something like $1,500 a month on, um, on your mortgage. If you did the same thing today, you'd be paying like $3,200 a month on your mortgage. So nobody in their right mind is going to be doing that. And, and that's why you're going to see, that's why there's, there's still like that huge supply. And we haven't seen a crash in prices yet that a lot of people were thinking that they were going to be, uh, that they were predicting happening because then after that, you have something like 40 something percent of all homes are out of mortgage, like are owned. So the, again, nobody's going to sell something that they're not paying a mortgage on to go and pay a mortgage on 8%. No, it's it's absolutely insane. Um, I'm glad you're here to explain it because Jay, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I mean, that's why we see like from this time last year until now, there's like a 45 percent decline in new home buying. Uh, people buying new homes. I mean, one right. thing we are seeing happening in the real estate uh, uh, area is uh, commercial real estate taking a nosedive in a lot of areas, oh, especially so San, Francisco, San Francisco, L.A., Santa Monica, uh, New York. Uh, there's a lot of those going down because you have you have plazas, like whole fucking plazas that are just completely deserted. They are now actually trying to convert some of those those office spaces that are in those plazas into apartments that you can rent for for living that's how Dude, that commercial real estate it's so it. it's so crazy and it's i'll show you in um san francisco we got two burglars breaking into a oh god you can't even see it oh because you haven't shared your screen there you go there you go What you're seeing is uh, burglars broke into a Mexican restaurant and stole over $10,000 in tip money for staff in Oakland, California on Saturday. Other businesses in the area apparently also hit. We need help. Jay, yeah, what I, the fuck? <laughs> it, that is why commercial real estate is going down. I mean, it's not just the crime, but, it, and, but it's the, the crime plus the rapid rate and inflation as you as you said um mm -hmm. the, the, or the high inflation um i still don't understand how they can just say 3.2 percent well there's there's three different indexes that people uh, look in and go and go by but every single one of them is not below two percent because the fed's goal 
and raising these rates all along has been to try and get inflation to 2%. That's their goal. Now, uh, every one of these ind inflation index that you can see and the ones that they're using, the, the consumer index is at 3.2%. Some are at, you know, 3.8%. Uh, and another one I think is at 37 or 3.6%. So none of them are below 2% at the, where the Fed wants to get it, uh, get it down to. So they're debating whether or not they need to keep the rates as they are flat to, to watch inflation go down or raise them again a couple of more times to try and control inflation down to 2%. Uh, but the, the crazy thing about the Bay Area when you showed this is that there is the whole downtown area of, of uh, San Francisco is a ghost town. Restaurants are oh, closed yeah, down and gone. There, there are, there are uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, Nordstrom's, CVS. Like all of these places are leaving – and you get stupid fucks, like dumb fucks that are um, – uh, fuck, what is his name? Uh, uh, he looks like the gay Eminem because he just dyed his hair. He's married to that one chick from um, uh, from that power show, the, the, the one with the, the brown guy with the glasses. Do you have any idea how low that narrows it down? There's a white white woman who is very liberal on the show, and a brown guy with glasses who's who's who leans right. And they used to what be on the hill. It? They what used to be on it? the hill, and then now they're they're show by himself. I don't know the show. Power something. Come on, it's white white woman and 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 brown guy with glasses. White power. Kyle Kyle. Breaking points. Thank you, fried pepper. Breaking points. So the 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 woman is married to Kyle. Oh, you oh. morning, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you Thank were talking you so about like an Robert. actual like television show. I didn't realize no, you were talking it, about it was it was on Saga, the Saga, the Saga and Jetty and Crystal Ball. Yes, and Crystal Ball. So, oh God, so I can't Kyle... believe you had me call their show White Power. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it. I thought it had something to do with power, but it's breaking points. Really good show. You should go watch it. But. Her her husband is a fucking moron, Kyle uh, Kowalnaki or whatever, who likes to say that these these <laughs> these corporations. Wait, what did what did you say his last name was? Kowalnaki. <laughs> say the full Kalinsky? name. Kyle Kalinsky. Kalinsky. No. Yeah, I thought it was Kowalnaki, but Kyle Kalinsky. So he would he he likes to go up and in, in, in state that these are like, like billion dollar corporations, they can take the hit and all of this type of like garbage socialist commie talk uh, without ever wanting to actually talk about the decimation it does to the neighborhoods as a whole. Like San Francisco and counties in San Francisco that have these places closed down, like CVSs, Walmarts, Targets, um, and restaurants. It will take them decades, decades, generations to be able to recover if they want to actually crap down on uh, crime and make it more hospitable to San Francisco. But it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, and you're, you're, you're going to see single mothers. You're going to see people in, in minority uh, groups, the lower uh 90 percent who are going to be hitting this and yeah watch this video it's insane sorry i mean i didn't mean to have everybody's eardrums blow up after um playing the audio on that i was just trying to rewind it but look look at the streets of san francisco everything is going look at look cvs CVS Pharmacy. Multiple CVSs. Walgreens. That's crazy. These are... Do you know how... Having a pharmacy nearby for so many people is imperative. Think of... Like, this actually... This actually harms more people than it helps. Like, that's insane. That is fucking insane. Right. How... And, and the thing is, it's not going to harm Walgreens. 
if anything, Walgreens is making more money leaving San Francisco because of how much they lose yearly on theft. I mean, you could see the reports, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, they're talking about losses in the tens of millions per store, I mean, per company. So you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars in theft in these places. So if they just close it down, they're actually not going to suffer these losses as much as they were. And instead of saying that we need to crack down on, on crime so we can actually, uh, you know, allow law-abiding citizens to have access to these things, we they they want to try like Kyle Kalinsky, the dumb fuck, wants to try and blame corporations for doing this smart, logical thing and leaving these places. It's amazing to me, you know, like because I don't think I paint Kyle or even Crystal as uh, Biden supporters. I don't. I, I think they're much. They would identify as like being leftist Bernie or Bro. progressive. Bernie Bros. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, maybe socialists, probably commies, but um, and I'm interested to hear the thoughts about it. The part about, um, you know, they're critical of Joe Biden when they, when, you know, it served, it, I don't know if it serves a purpose or not. I think they're probably principled in this, in this, in their critique of Biden, but they still, again, have so many blind spots that they let the government get away with so much. And so, in my view, that's why this type of stuff doesn't work. Leftism, it just, no matter what, they'll end up being more status than not. Yeah. So it's a lose-lose situation. It really is. I mean, there's another video too that you should watch where a um, a local news, a, lo a local, no, it's a local news station uh, followed a uh like an un um an unregistered lexus around uh around like main oh, streets okay. and you just talking. you just see them go in and break into parked cars on the street over and over and over again and it's like and the, and the guy the guy was like uh we're not even yeah here it is this is this is a news organization doing this not Lexit or whatever. I forget the, I think it was like KNS or something, like one of the local news channels doing this, following oh, them for blocks. They knew they were being followed too. They just don't give a fuck. That's crazy. They break in the back window. They go, they take the shit. These are, a lot of these are like rentals too. So people just visiting over there, like multiple, you have multiple stories of of people out there on vacation just visiting going in somewhere for like 20 minutes coming out and everything stolen out of their rent rent cars it's so crazy that's insane i can't believe that right this is I not Argentina. So they're just so brazen about it well in the middle middle of the day and i mean that's not a cheap lexus either that's like a fifty five thousand dollar car that's insane. What ended up happening? Did they end up ever getting these guys? No, this is just a news. This is just a news organization. This isn't. This isn't like a. These aren't uh, police officers or anything. They're just showcasing this stuff. It's like when CNN did that whole whole expose on 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 San Francisco, where they were there in uh, in a CVS talking to a clerk about like the theft and in the. 35 minutes they were in there four people walked out without paying it's crazy it's absolutely insane um it, and then they get on jason aldean's case for saying try that in a small town right and they call him a racist it's it's they i mean just get him, and they get him canceled i it's, go it, it is insane, Jay. It's not even the fact that they are making these accusations that they're racist. He may not even be meaning a particular race or group. Did he ever mention anything about black people or brown people? No, Hispanic? and that was not his intent either. But it's the intent of the people calling but, him a racist. But so, so you're telling me that it is the people calling him racist to assume that only people who are breaking the law 
and robbing and looting and setting fires to shit and killing people, beating the shit out of them. That's just all happening by black and brown people. You're, they're basically telling us that uh, you they are signing like that to Jason Aldean and anybody who else who agrees with him because they think that themselves. Right? Right. Like they know that's exactly it. And then they're trying to, they're trying to, it's, it's full on projection. Like it's a hundred percent full on projection by these white liberal elitists who are like saying, Oh, you're saying this stuff because you're racist when they're themselves are all they're thinking about is what's going on is being perpetrated by one group of people. Wait, why do we dance? Hold on. And hold on. We have, go ahead, go, go ahead. No, I was um, going to say just the other day, there's a there's a place I go to in so, in so SoCal that's over uh, in Orange County. It's uh, Costa Mesa Plaza. And I go into this place all the time. And just the other day, they actually went in and stole over $100,000 from the Gucci store that was in there. Like this is a place like in Orange County. This is the Orange County is is more like away from all of these uh, like downtown LA, away from San Francisco type uh, type of incidents and stuff. Like it is bleeding out to everywhere in this state. There is no stopping it unless there's going to be more hardened on crime. And then and then now, after uh, Newsom gets called out to have a debate with Desantes, he's actually saying that he's diverting more funds into into law enforcement to crack down on this crime this crime has been happening for over three years and just now he's wanting to do something about it it's 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 insane um by the way uh speaking of this whole thing with uh trump and desantis did you know did you see this politico story that um that dropped earlier today about ron philip Kowski, Ron, Ron, uh, maybe you could. Yes, Ron Filipkowski is a is a uh, internet pro- oh. uh, personality. He's a uh, political. Did this huge uh, like profile on this guy who is absolutely paid by the DNC, one hundred percent paid by the DNC, and pretends like he is somebody that candidates are afraid of when all he does is attack Desantes and Trump. Like he doesn't go after any other candidate ever. Mm-hmm. And it's showcasing that uh, he is in contact with with Laura Loomer and people affiliated with Donald Trump in order to shit on DeSantis and boost Donald Trump. Okay, so let's read this bit. Uh, Philip Kowski said he is in contact with far-right activist Laura Loomer and people affiliated with Donald Trump's campaign. It's not to boost Trump, whom he has been agitating against since the 2020 campaign, but to upend their mutual enemy, DeSantis. And it continues. Uh, Philip Kowski said, I'm probably the top anti-DeSantis person on Twitter. So if rivals have something anti-DeSantis that they want to get into the mainstream, they'll send it to me, Philip Kowski said. Without disclosing the name of anyone on the Trump campaign he's worked with, the Trump campaign declined to comment. Loomer said they speak occasionally. (laughs) <laughs> saying, quote, saying quote he knows i'm a trump loyalist and i and i know he doesn't like trump and despite our differences we have found common ground in making sure ron DeSantis is never elected president of the united states that's that's pretty fucking funny is it not that's that's the enemy of my enemy is my friend type of deal right that's that's how big he does it and but political was like making this guy personality like he is somebody who's who's after everyone's kept campaign like everyone is scared of this guy he's a guy who goes out but instead he just gets fed absolute garbage from from dumb fucks like laura loomer and he tweets it out and he goes after like nonsensical stories. I mean, there's there's barely any story that Laura Lorimer comes out with that has any weight whatsoever. So you're just shitting on your own reputation when you go out, when you go with what Laura Loomer says or does. By the way, she blocked me, which was great. Yeah, she blocked me because I I uh, I mean it you is were. crazy. It is so crazy when you Photoshop uh, what's it called? uh jigsaw's face onto hers it's a perfect fit 
or let's play a game. It's a perfect, perfect fit. No, it was pretty good. Um, what is the uh, not the Ron Filipkowski? Filipkowski? Filipkowski. Maybe we'll find the actual title of the well she, actually Laura Loomer blocked me years ago. I forgot she blocked me. She blocked me too. Oh, she, she blocked, blocked me. No, hold on, Jay. This is great. Her block carried over after her Twitter suspension. Oh. <laughs> That's how long she's had me blocked. Holy shit. Man, yeah, she I was forgot. off of Twitter for like one or one or, uh, uh jo Joey Meatballs. Smash our pass on, on Loomer. What? Smash our pass. Oh, pass. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, and it's so way. funny. It's so funny. When you have Jay, you got me. Like, okay. I, I could I could only hold that can't. lion for so long. Wood. Of course. What's really funny about people like Laura Loomer is when uh, they no, bitch on. and whine. When they bitch I've and whine about. Wanted, I've always wanted to be with a trans woman. <laughs> and that's my favorite uh, gay patriot thing. He goes after it so hard. And it's so fucking hilarious how hard he goes after it with, about her looking like trans. But. It's it's really fucking hilarious that people like Loomer will whine about about DeSantis people saying, you know, things about Trump or Trump voters or whatever. And then she goes on to say, like, did Casey really have breast cancer? Because I don't think she did. Like she would go in and that question. Is, that is a pretty absolutely wild thing to say. That is, that is a genuinely insane thing to say. And Doubting where somebody had cancer. Of all things, Jay, you're gonna go with fucking cancer. <laughs> exactly. And like, then you it's have like, you know, like saying, like, I don't think you actually have food poisoning. I think you just shat your pants to like holy fuck, you you really are gonna die on this hill. Is this the tweet that did it? Is yeah, this, this is it. it? I, I read I, it. So she goes, DeSantis supporters say you aren't allowed to criticize Jill DeSantis because she claims she had cancer. Nobody's saying that you can't criticize her, but you go after and say that she claims they have cancer. That's not criticizing her. That is <laughs> that is lying. I've never seen the medical records, uh, but they have no problem attacking Melania Trump. N who has attacked Melania Trump? Who? Who, is, who has done anything from the DeSantis? I have actually failed to see... Melania Trump really mentioned once during this campaign season or even seen her. I don't even think I've seen her out no. on the campaign trail. And then she goes, personally, I think Jill's health has been over exaggerated. She went, she had chemo and she went into remission and she beat the cancer. And now she's like, personally, I think Jill's health has been over exaggerated and a desperate effort to get votes for DeSantis. They even use it in a 2020. In the 2022 campaign commercial, which is very tacky, they are welcome to release the medical records, though, to show they weren't uh, exaggerating, especially since they want to use her as a campaign surrogate and cancer as a way to appeal to votes. You can't say my wife is a part of my campaign, then also say you aren't allowed to criticize her because she had cancer. She's fair game. Nobody... Nobody was saying any of that. Nobody was saying that you can't criticize Casey DeSantis for how she's running a campaign, for what she said on the campaign, for any of that. But instead, she goes straight for the cancer and says that she doesn't believe it was real. All right. I'm just going to say this one thing before we move on, because it's getting close to 69 minutes and I want to be able to want to end this episode on the positive note okay um with respect to the um cancer attack it is um how do i put this absolutely incredible that people let her out in public i mean i'm not saying that she shouldn't be allowed to speak she should this is rumble 
free speech, first First Amendment, you know, say what you want. It is amazing that more people do not disavow from her. Also, why does she keep calling her Jill? Well, because her name, I think her name is like Jill and Casey's her middle name. Oh, so you're going to sit, oh, watch Laura Loomer start uh, calling Nikki Haley Nimarata. <laughs> right. And like going with the, <laughs> what do you think America is a racist country? Nimarata. Nimarata. Right. And, and the funny thing is, whether it's Jill or Casey, like either way is not, is not like, she's not hiding anything. She's just going with Casey instead of Jill. I mean, both of them are pretty white names. Like there's no benefit between Jill and Casey whatsoever. Yeah, right. Like that's, that's the stupid shit Laura puts, puts out there and dumb fuck, uh, like, uh, her dumb fuck followers just eat that type of garbage up. It's fucking nuts. It's so stupid. Okay. Uh, we have to watch this because we uh, we have missed the boat on this at least uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, you remember, by the way, the last, uh, what is it? I want to say this happened two weeks ago, okay? This is Robert gets ass beat by 7-Eleven workers. <laughs> I mean, look at how like nonchalant he does this, thinking that he's allowed to do this. And the customer behind, instead of saying, yo, what are you doing? Stop. He's like, yo, pass me a swisher. Let me get a swisher. Oh, he's looking at it from behind the... Oh, I didn't even fully understand where he was. I thought it was on. Oh, shit. All right. The guy filming it. Yes. It's like, let me get a swisher. He's not. He doesn't even want to stay. He's like, let me just get my smokes and get the fuck out. Not even going to help him. I mean, well, that's why I guess this happened. Oh, do you have insurance? Do you have insurance? Do you have insurance? Yeah, insurance? fuck you. Do you have insurance? And you can do that. And it's nuts. Like what you know, are you these convenience about? stores, they don't make shit on these on on cigarettes and stuff like that too. I mean, with all the high taxes and everything you have to pay for them, it is nuts. You do, man. Don't do that. Like you're losing so much money if you allow these people to this rub rob that stuff because there's no profit margin on them whatsoever. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. (laughs) Yo, Indians do not fuck around, bro. No. Bro, these guys come from the fucking like slums of the slum. You know what I mean? Like they are they they are not going to sit back and allow this type of shit to happen whatsoever. I mean, they go they go out and blow up mosques, and you have and, and Pakistanis go up and blow up like fucking uh, churches and shit. You think churches. you're gonna you're gonna be working out of the, walking out of this stuff? They burn shit down with kids and women in it. They're not going to let you steal this shit. Oh, let's keep watching. I'm gonna keep going. There's like three more minutes of this shit, <laughs> and all they're doing is just fucking wailing. Do it. This is Donda. Yo. <laughs> That's whooping your ass. That's what you get. I mean, that's what he needed probably growing up. A dad in the house, like, fucking spanking him. That's what he needed. Oh, he's going to hit him right in the fucking head. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Now that's enough. The guy is now saying that's enough. Letting him just think that the guy should just go out and steal that shit. No more. No more. No more. Yo, how many hits did he get in there? How many hits did he get in? 
fuck, there should be a counter on the bottom right. Is there? there. Is there any more like, to that? There's like 35 hits or something. Is There's there still like two minutes. It? There's still two minutes left in the video. Have you seen this before? No, I have it. I, oh I've shit! The you clips don't know of people like like Let's play go. like uh, he go. they become an icon. You want police to get him? You want to call police to get him? Police to get him? Okay. You want police to get him? Okay. They're coming. You hold them till the police come there. You call police? You call police? You call police? You call. If you don't call police, let him go. You want to let him go? He doesn't have a gun. He doesn't have a gun. He's lying. He's lying. He doesn't have a gun. You don't have a gun. You have a gun? Do you have a gun? He's lying. Let's let him go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get him. Let's get him. Okay. Come on. Okay. No, no. It's okay. Okay. No more. You know no more. No more come here, right? No more come and do that, right? Brother, please. I'm your brother. Right? No more do this, okay? Let's go. Let's go. No let's more go. do this. No, no, does he go. think that that guy's Indian too and doesn't understand English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how you speak to someone who's Indian. Oh man! And no like more when come I was here. in the no more. Yeah, no more come here. Like when I was in the UAE, the, I would even speak it like in an Urdu accent as well when I'm speaking to him. Mino, Mino habla. <laughs> that's so fucking good. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 let, go. Him go. no, no let him go. Please, no, no, let him go. Do he owe you a lot of money? 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 Let him go. Please let him go. Come on. I can't. No, you can't. Let's go. And you know, it was funny it was that there was reports that the the they were gonna go after these guys and actually arrest them and stuff. But then the, uh, the after like all of the pushback, they were like, no, 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 they're not. They're not going to get. Um, uh, slapped with anything, anything or yeah or charged with anything which is good i mean or, like or fuck, it's getting so out me. of out of hand and and somebody was in the comments too talking about how stockton is like a the the median the median home makes around like one hundred twenty five thousand a year and and they have this type of shit bleeding into all of these uh neighborhoods yeah. because I, i'm i feel like wasn't there a time when there was a death penalty simply for stealing another man's horse yeah. Why don't we have that anymore? Well, uh, well, because now they think it's more merciful to allow these people to just live out in the street and harm I, other is, law abiding so, citizens. Jay, look, I'm being slowly radicalized here because I do think that the state deciding who to kill is wrong. The state should not have that decision. At the same time, I mean, we could use a few less scumbags out there. <laughs> Oh, I'm just I'm... saying. I'm just saying. Look, I'm very much anti-death penalty, but I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. It's just you're. They're really. I'm not saying. Look, that dude probably not only poor but mentally unstable, probably schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. Um. He probably doesn't have full control of his own actions. But I tell you, Donda, the ass beater, uh, probably beat the shit out of that. <laughs> he probably yeah, he made did. sure that he got the fucking message. Um, oh, Jay, what are you sending me here? <laughs> uh, what? I guess. Are we uh, he said you wanted, you wanted to get out on a feel good story. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at here? <laughs> Jay, IRS agent on. fatally shoots and kills another agent at Phoenix shooting range, gun range. Right now, law enforcement and emergency crews are on the scene after an internal revenue service uh, IRS agent lost their life due to an invert shooting by another agent. The incident occurred during a routine training exercise at the Federal Correctional Institution. Authorities said the agent was immediately taken to the hospital to be treated for the injury. The agent passed away shortly after arriving at the hospital. The FBI will be investigating. Um, Jay, uh, that 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 looks like a cover up for murder. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. 
is <laughs> Oh, man. Am I guys... am I insane? Am I insane? Please tell me I'm insane. I don't know. It's going to come out that the uh, the IRS agent's wife was cheating on him with the IRS agent that he killed. He, it was just no, like, hey, uh, you guys want to go? You guys, you, you want to go through the shooting range? Come on, Bill. You and me. You and accidents, me. Accidents don't just happen like that. No, there's no way. I am not. I'm. I'm not crazy. This is really an oh no anyway type of deal. It's massive thief says not locals. No, there's no. There's no way, Jay, that this is like oh oopsie uh, oopsie. The no, Northside CA seven oh seven. Northside CA seven oh seven says he was defending our country. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> God. It's too good. Who said that it's shit? <laughs> Northside props. I, I appreciate that. That was that was pretty fucking funny. Um was there anything else? That was did, oh we watched the, the shit kids do drag or play football. We already watched that. So yeah, we already saw that. Uh we saw that time. last episode. Um what else we got? Roseanne Barr. Is that Barack Obama? Mm -hmm. AI AI is, is fucking nuts. Hey, yo, what is going on with AI? Fanny Obama. That's what he's. She, this is the that that's the the Fanny. Uh, I forget her last name. The the attorney, district attorney, that's uh, indicting Trump. Mm, mm, that's right. So she's like uh, Fanny Obama. Governor J B Prisker signs baseballs for. Dick Bigger Jr. of Big <laughs> during Governor's Day at the Illinois State Fair in Springfield on Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. Bigger has politicians uh, Bigger has politicians sign baseballs every year he attends the fair and has a ball signed by former President Obama. So, so he gets politicians to sign Dick Bigger. And here we go, our favorite alpha male, Perry Abbasi, Pericles. He shall follow on Twitter at election legal. Um, he gives me a run for my money and who's gayer. Uh, Dick Bigger. <laughs> more alpha. Dick Bigger. He's more alpha. Yeah, more You're alpha. Just He's gay. more alpha than me. He's just You're just a, gay. He's more alpha. Just You're gay. just gay. Exactly. Okay. He's a Start gay alpha. confused. Gay alpha epsilon, right? G. No. He's not gay at all. He's oh. just alpha. Just alpha. All right. Yes. Dick Bigger is Illinois' most famous alpha male. He even appears on TV commercials. Dick Bigger Jr. That's Jay. Wood. What that mouth do. Right? Look at that. It's pretty wide. It's pretty great. It's beautiful. We got some we got another another video. Yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, this is great. <laughs> All right, <coughs> let me rewind it and I'll expand it. Yeah, we'll see you later. 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 Okay. So for those of you who are going to be listening to this episode, let me just take you through it because this is, this is, what is that? Is that Japanese? No, no, this is Thailand. It's, it's two, two, oh, they're uh, Thailand. Taiwanese. Shit. Yeah. One, one is a, a reporter asking random. Wait, they're in Taiwan. Th this is Thailand. Oh, Thailand. You said Thailand. Oh, uh, Thai. These are two Thai, Thais. Sorry. I said Taiwanese. I'm sorry. Chinese, Taiwanese, I, Japanese. Taiwanese. I, I apologize. Shit. They're Thai. They're Thai in Thailand. And uh, it is a reporter out on the street asking another woman uh, about transgenders in uh, the women's restroom. Because, you know, there's a huge thing of lady boys in Thailand is what they're famous for. Right. So she goes uh, on to wait, say. What? Wait. Oh, what is this thing that you call a lady boy i have never heard this thing before well next year when we go to thailand you'll find out okay 
I would like you to show me. This sounds intriguing. I will. I will um, show you the ropes. Thank you. Um, Not that I know. I don't know. Hopefully, any of this. Um, well, hopefully there will be no pushing rope. I don't know what that means. Uh, so look up the... Archer season. <laughs> look up Archer season one, maybe two. I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were even going to be like season one, episode twenty three, minute forty eight. I, no, I, I I really you know, it's all about the okay. The scene is basically like I think uh, Archer and that really. Um, I think it's Pam, uh, oh, the, the fat, eight-year-old the lady. Yeah, yeah, they do it, and she, and and Pam is like ready to go again. And he's like, "Really? That'll be like pushing rope." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the first three seasons of that show are fucking great. They're really great. All right, They're so. Really good. Oh, are you bouncing this whole thing? I was trying to explain the audio of, the, but let's just watch this. Whatever. 50 and even 60 points. Who expected that? I did. Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, all very strong, but also leading Biden very big. The sanctimonious is crashing. Perhaps the party should come together. People should drop out of the race. We unify and we beat Biden and the Democrats. They should be easy to beat because our country has never been in worse condition than it is right now. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about this. Uh, Fry Piper on Rumble says Archer worked for ISIS. LOL. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. that was so good. That. Uh, that was one of like, the funnier parts about it. Yes. Um, no, that okay, reminds that... me of uh, of when Hillary went on, and it was like, uh, I uh, why uh, what was it? Uh, why I'm not fifty points ahead or some shit like that? Oh yeah, her famous yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was like a lot. She was a lot crazier than than that. Okay, so oh, do yeah, we have sure. time for a final video? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, and also, uh, Project Veritas is in shambles because uh, <laughs> the the main. Did you see the main tweet from Project Veritas? So the, yeah. the, the, uh, what's it called? You got it. It's, it, this is fucking nuts. So the, um, the Twitter account for project Veritas says, tweets out SOS. Hannah Gills just fired us all. Wait, do you, do you have that in front of you? Can you, yeah, I, I, yeah, hear? I have it in front of me. Hold on. Is that what this is? Yeah. It, th that's a now deleted. That's now a deleted uh, tweet. <laughs> SOS Hannah Giles fired us all. <laughs> oh, that was our boy Royce getting that. Royce Lopez of Revenge of the Sis. Uh, go give him a follow. Go watch the show. Don't rumble, Let's check on, on Project Veritas and see how things are going. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Uh, so it's too good. All right, time for one last video, and that's gonna be uh Jay. Did you hear about um the UPS drivers oh, and yes. how they were able to make one hundred and seventy thousand dollars? Their a year? drivers now make over one hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year. UPS truck drivers. That's right. Let's watch this. This Hold sounds on. hilarious, by the way, too. This is Mark Phillips, by the way. This is how UPS drivers are acting now after they after their pay raise. Hey, it's probably messed up right here. Hey, you go, sir. Who are you? UPS man. What's wrong with your arm? Oh shit! What, nothing really. What, what's up? <laughs> Why are you dressed like this? Like what? A Dior shirt? A chain? Is them Cartier's? Oh, this little shit, man. Nah, man. Are you wearing Cartier's? Nah, I'm not wearing no Cartier's. This is shit we ain't heard of, Chill out, bro. Where's your truck at? My truck? Your UPS truck? Oh, uh, man, I let that little shit line when you got me a Lambo real quick. Fresh out the line, <laughs> straight over here. I almost forgot your boxes for it. Silly me. You bought a Lambo off the lot, bro. How much is UPS paying, yo? You ain't heard the news? Breaking news, shocking news. What news? 
they just start playing UPS men a little bit over a buck fifty. You know what I'm saying? So I just been doing my thing. Hold on, that's my phone. I think ring. What the? Oh, that is not my phone. That's that's ten thousand dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You know, chill out, bro. I know that's not your first time. I'm just tripping, bro. But uh, I think I got somewhere to be though, man. So. Shit, I'm gonna holler at you. Hey, can you do me a favor though? Can you drop these boxes off at your neighbor's house? I can give you the addresses if you want. <laughs> no, bro, I'm not gonna work with UPS. That's against the law. I can't do that. Nah, against the law. You, what's up? You ratting? <laughs> I got you, bro. Like, just drop them off, bro. I got shit to do. With people to be. Hey, by the way, you don't gotta throw money at me, bro. Hey, you got you got bitches in here? Bitches? <laughs> yeah, you got bitches in here? No. Do you got a bitch? What? No, I, I don't. So nobody in here? Just me. My shit, you tripping, man? Bro, why are you parking my grass though? I pay for it, nigga. Like, you want me to pay for that patch, dog? <laughs> that shit, like, fucking five dollars or some shit. I don't know how much grass costs, nigga. I ain't no grass, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna holler at you. Right? I got somewhere to be. Deliver them for me, man. Can't lose this job. This mean everything to me. Everything to me, God. Everything to me. Everything to be in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Oh shit! Oh, it's too oh, good. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good one to end on there. So, yes. uh, Habibis, before we go, just a quick reminder: go hit that like and follow buttons, um, as well as the join button to be a part of the Habibi Bros locals. It's five bucks a month. Get to join things like the Habibi Bros Discord server, where we're going to be starting fantasy football here in a few short weeks. Mm -hmm. uh what else we got jay um we're gonna do a draft soon because the draft's coming up and yes. uh um we'll have we'll have to play some highlights from last year's draft because we streamed it here on rumble and they're <laughs> gonna be some good they're, they're gonna be some so good, good. Hoping, hoping our amazing. producers i'm hoping our producers uh ben and spencer can go ahead and find um some uh exquisite clips from from that stream um also hit the joint button thank you hiccup one um, but uh, as far as the locals uh, premium chat, which I have in the corner of the screen, even though I have the rumble thing over here, um, the locals premium chat is quite quite a doozy. They also, all the Habibis who are part of the Habibis locals, um, they helped steer the direction of the show by sending us lots of clips to watch tonight. So appreciate that Habibis. And thank you to Ben and Spencer, who are both fucking fired because they are both both don't remember 9-11. Um, and Jay, any last words? No, thank not, you. Not, you. Not, not before we execute you, but before the end of the show. Well, I was going to say before we fly this into uh, in, into an attempt of landing uh, the yes. show. But thank you, Habibis. And, and make sure to join the Fantasy League stream because you're going to watch me pick the greatest players. I mean, Messi is going to be my first round pick to oh, beat yeah. Carl and keep my streak alive. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could draft Lionel Messi as a kicker? On that would fantasy be football, like you just you know, it just like some glitch happened. You got Messi as your quarterback, and he somehow actually just fucking killed it. Just the guy up. is already at 12 goals in six games in MLS. Like, the guy is going to end it at 69 goals. I thought he was at nine goals, six games. Or nine goals, six games, yeah. Something it's, like that. Either it's way, still it's fucking insane. nuts. It's, a, it's insane either way. So, anyways, Habibis, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for the support. Uh, we call this a filler episode because we really didn't have much of an agenda tonight. We just wanted to shoot the shit. So, we'll probably do more of these. Um and maybe as part of it, I'm actually thinking of like phasing out list streams and maybe doing these type of shows where like one of the sections is about the list. Mm -hmm. It's just because we can't do the list every week. It just doesn't. Right. It, it's unsust. It's can't. It, it just doesn't do well. So I think we should just merge it together. Merge. You know, we should just merge it together, Jay. Merge. You know, merge. Exactly. You got to touch the tip. So for the BB Bros, I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we'll see you next time on the BB Power Hour. Every Tuesday and Thursday night now, 10 p.m. East. Or 
ish, 10 p.m. East ish, 7 p.m. Pacific ish. Okay, peace and mass and